All right, so the reason we're doing this video is to do a quick talk on how to keep snakes away from your property. Up here, up here, of course, I have a little black rat snake. Nice, helpful snake if you do have one in your, around your property, but basically they work for rodent control. And I was able to just pick this one up today, up in the front of our, of our house, and because there are some things out there that actually work to the benefit of tracking snakes, and we'll talk about that a little later. So first up, let's get into some myths. We're gonna talk about some things like mothballs and uh, things that really won't actually help and actually are more harmful to your yard. Although also we'll talk about some things about where you might live, such as having a pond or woodlands nearby. And then we'll get into some, some useful tips that really will help limit your exposure. But ultimately I want you to understand that just because you do everything out there, doesn't mean you won't have a snake wander in your, in your property and there's some ways that you can respond if you have a snake that you're concerned about in your property and some things you can do ultimately um, to, if you want them to, to move from your house but ultimately you shouldn't be afraid of them. Okay, so up first I want you to, here's some things you should not do. Things like sticky traps. You put sticky traps down, snake gets stuck, they end up rolling around, it's a very painful slow death. Please don't put those out. Next, things like shovels, guns, saws. Police officers have actually ended up shooting uh, in, innocent people because they're trying to shoot a snake. So it's usually much more effective, just take a hose, give it a little squirt with a hose, I promise that snake will just take off. No snake wants to get sprayed with a hose. You give them a little sh sh squirt of water with a hose from the other body, it'll just take off. Next, ceramic eggs. Uh, people put these in their chicken coops, snake ends up swallowing, it uh, ends up with a real painful death. And believe me, you want those snakes there. Uh, just like this black rat snake here, they'll just take out some, uh, some real help harmful things like rodents, that will actually bring pests to you, to you that we'll talk about zoonotic diseases later on. And ultimately, uh, as we get back to, as I mentioned earlier, things like sulfur, mothballs, not only are they not effective, they've proven that they will not at all prevent snakes from coming in your yard, they actually are toxic to insects and mammals and end up ingesting them, and it, they've been proven to cause illnesses even in kids and harm humans. So what are some things you can do? So first off, you want to seal cracks, obviously in your house, to prevent snakes from getting in. Holes in sidewalks. This snake actually lives underneath the sidewalk. I saw, saw him coming out today, and was able to scoop him up. He just, they live under a sidewalk. There's a huge crack under a sidewalk in, these, uh, in this shared community. Things under porches, uh, cracks that you'll have. So along with that, fencing. See a big hole in this fence like that? If you have fencing in there, try to make sure it's sealed. And if you have fencing, if you can curve the edges of it, that will help also prevent snakes from coming in your property. Next, uh, you can put a perch up. You put a perch up for a thing like an owl or a hawk. Those are natural predators of snakes and they will prey on snakes. Next, you want to feed your pets inside. Um, dog, dog food will bring in insects and rodents, which are things that are going to attract snakes to your property. Next, if you do have a bird feeder, move it away from your house. If you have it near your house, birds, squirrels, they're messy when they eat. They'll spill seeds all over the ground. Again, that's gonna bring rodents, and it's ultimately gonna bring snakes. Lawn care, I recommend keeping your lawn short trimmed. If you have high lawn, unkept uh, shrubs and bushes, those are great places for snakes to hide. And along with that, when you do the lawn care, if you put rocks out, I recommend putting them nice and tight. If you can see these rocks uh, over here, they are nice and tight here. There is uh, no space really on, on the ground with these. You're gonna get wor earthworms out there, maybe a decay snake might wander in there. But if you have a big, huge pile of rocks on your property, like if you see sometimes uh, high tension wires will have these big piles of rocks, those are great places for snakes. So if you do have a pile like that of rocks, I recommend them being firm um, and together. So, so those are some of the things you can do. So up next, we're gonna talk about some things that I also recommend. So. Other things I recommend is understand that snakes have a purpose. Okay, just like this this snake, black rat snake, uh, little east coast decay snakes, what we find here, sometimes in the woods, they're real small, they don't get much bigger than say 15 inches. They eat slugs and snails that you have in your garden. So here I have a little garden with some strawberries and, and lettuce, tomatoes and stuff like that. A little decay snake in there would be great. Um, also remember that snakes do eat things that will spread disease to humans or zoonotic diseases. So they will take out uh, lots of animals that will carry uh, ticks that could spread Lyme disease to you and your family. So snakes are very helpful in taking out for rodent control. 
Uh, as I mentioned earlier, something like a hose, garden hose is the best way to get a snake to move on. You spray any snake with a little garden hose, it's going to take off uh, to move out of your yard. On last note, pr please, before you end up killing a snake, make an effort to ask what it is. Every year thousands of snakes end up getting killed because they're mistaken for a, a snake that people consider uh, dangerous or a snake that's venomous. Um, but even venomous snakes do have a place and we can live uh, with, with venomous snakes around us. But really any, any snake uh, out there can be helpful and they are helpful to have around. But those are some tips that will help you k limit uh, snakes in and around your property. And I welcome any questions. Thank you very much.